Wakantanka, great mystery, the creator and source of all things, the universal light and life upon which we draw our very breath from, I ask that you work through me, and intoning this sacred syllable, this sacred word, I ask that it echoes out to the heart and souls of those who are willing to receive. Ancient Hebrew language means thou art. If you've ever heard that ancient axiom of know thyself, the thyself that is referring to is your utmost divine and highest nature, the true you. So when you're pulling down the divine light, pointing it to pointing your wand to yourself and toning thou art. It is a spiritual re-remembrance of who you truly are. It is a spiritual awakening of your connection with divinity and source. And this is the first step in the initiatic journey that I'll take you on in my course of high magic alchemy over at Blossoming Path. Again, that first step is connecting you to the light, reaffirming and spiritually activating you. And if you stick with me for a year and a day of high magic, I take you through the different rituals, practices, meditations, mantras, mudras that will get you that unity with the higher self, as above, so below, so that you really know thyself. So, with that being said, that, again, that first step is the connection. After you've bridged and fully enveloped yourself in that divine connection, we then go through various purification rituals, right? You'll learn how to use sacred geometry with divine names paired with the higher energetics of the archangels to purify and expunge any and all disharmony, dis-ease, imbalance, thought forms, whatever it may be from your mind, your spirit, your emotions, and your body. I once had a client over in eastern India. She had some kind of severe spinal infection, right? And I was asked, hey, can you, can you help? And I said, sure. Um, so what I did was basically I did this purification ritual, visualizing my client's mom right there in the magic circle with me. And as I'm doing my sacred symbols, as I'm calling in the archangels, I'm seeing that light em enveloped within her and to cleanse and clear her. And I did that for three days in a row. On the fourth or fifth day, I heard back from my client, hey, my mom's better. They don't know what happened. Something changed overnight. She's totally healed. So again, these spiritual symptoms that we have manifest into the physical. And it can be cleansed and cleared with, again, spiritual energy. So you learn how to connect, how to purify. And once you're there, then we learn how to harmonize and depolarize you. Where you tap into the center of your being. And we activate the cosmic chakras that connect to the planets that is already dormant within your etheric body. And once we connect you to the elements and you go through that initiatic process with the different elements, you'll begin to feel this connection with the universe and all things. You'll feel that the sky is your father, the earth is your mother, the wind your brother, and the water your sister. You know, you can feel this interconnectedness with everything. And this is when that unity, that Christ consciousness, starts to spark and awaken within you, right? So, once you've gone through this level of initiation to the elements, then we go up on the planetary level. You'll be banishing or pulling in different vices and virtues of the planets. For example, the sun has to do with leadership, generosity, having a heart of gold. It can also be pride, arrogance. So you'll be bringing in generosity, peace, you know, uh, kingliness, royalty, poise, right? All of those energetics of the higher vibration of the sun within you. And you'll also be purging any vices you may have in your subconscious and conscious mind, right? And we'll go through each of the seven primary planets, right? After you've gone through that level, it does take a little time, they will then go up to the zodiacal level, the astrological wheel, and you'll begin to pull in that strength and power of Aries, pull in the deep wisdom of Pisces, banish the, the perhaps laziness of Taurus, right? Whatever it may be, you'll begin to embe envelop yourself in this magical energy of the zodiac. And all of what this is doing, it is making your aura 
which is the magical mirror of the universe. It is perfecting your aura into being a divine reflection of the source, divine reflection of the higher self. And once your auric field, your mind, body, and spirit, and soul are in that harmonization and resonance of the whole universe, of the macrocosm, so too does the awakening occur within the microcosm, within you. So again, the connection, the purification, the activation, the initiation, and then we go up the levels from the elements to the planets to the zodiac. Now, if that sounds like something that resonates with you, my course is starting back up in January, the second and fourth Thursday of every month. It'll be on our Facebook page, our website, and everything. Um, if you'd like to see what I'm all about, I do have a YouTube channel. I'll have the link down below for you guys. And again, if you have any questions, you can email me directly at theosoul10 at gmail.com. I get a lot of spam mail, so put something in the subject like, um, hey, Seas Thunder, or you know, something with my name, Seas Thunder. Put Seas Thunder in there, and then I'll know it's not spam. Okay, so you can definitely go and email me directly if you have questions or follow-ups or are interested or want to just talk, you know. All right, so look forward to seeing you all then. Again, the class is just $10. So January 2nd and 4th Thursday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace and many blessings.